Welcome to this week's Food News Today. There's good news for lobster lovers. The price of this once luxury food has taken a dive. Global warming and Canadian fishermen are the reason. The site Quartz explains that warming seas resulted in an explosion of lobsters and that volumes have surged about 80 percent since 2008. An article in The New Yorker details the decrease in cost, noting that in 2005, Maine lobster was selling for almost $6 a pound wholesale. By 2009, it cost just half that, and the past few summers have continued to drop until this past August, when lobster off the boat was selling for as low as $2.20 a pound. Fortunate for lobster lovers, but unfortunate for fishermen. Given the continuing rise in ocean temperatures, these prices aren't likely to change anytime soon. Have you lost your car keys again? Can't remember where you put that cup of coffee? Well, don't blame a lack of sleep. New research shows memory loss could be connected to a certain kind of protein. A report in the current issue of Science Translational Medicine states that a shortage of a brain protein called RBAP48 could be the reason. Scientists discovered the protein after analyzing postmortem brains from eight people aged between 33 and 88 and discovered that a lack of this protein appears to impair our memory as we age. It was found, in mice at least, that boosting levels of RBAP48 in aging brains can reverse memory loss. Scott Small, a neurologist at Columbia University and one of the study's authors, told NPR that this research is important in reinforcing the emerging idea that Alzheimer's disease and aging are separate entities. It also suggests that eventually it should be possible to treat memory loss that's not related to Alzheimer's. And finally, we like to keep you abreast of new food trends here at Food News Today. So here's a few we came across through our friends at the Huffington Post. One of the latest hot trends, seed oil, as in oil pressed from various seeds. New companies like the Austrian Stoger have been using a variety of new seeds. Their pumpkin seed oil has won multiple honors, but its cherry tomato and other variations are a close second. Try some on desserts and salads, or for a new flavor in your meal. Another new trend is salt infusions. Think garlic salt, but, well, a lot more interesting. SALT Sisters has a Chardonnay oak smoke blend and other variations in the market like lime, rosemary, and mushroom. The flavors are all a little bit more subtle than a garlic salt, but a great addition to meals and to dishes. And finally, how about cold brewed coffee? And no, we're not talking about iced coffee, but coffee made without heat usually set to steep for 12 hours or longer to pull in the coffee's flavor. It's often served cold, but it's fine at traditional room temperature once it's ready. Many restaurants make their own, and Stump Down has a cold brew bottled, which you can find in places like Whole Foods and specialty boutiques. That's all for this week's edition of Food News Today. Don't forget to check out our website at supermarketguru.com or send me a message on Facebook or Twitter. Food News Today is sponsored by ConAgra Foods, who shares with me the desire to provide the most current, interesting, and unbiased food news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.